What kind of reaction has there been today in Moscow uh, to the news of this win? Uh, there's been no official reaction. The news has been carried on the state news agency TASS. Just a couple of paragraphs broadly stating the facts that the Sakharov Prize has gone to Navalny, along with the 50,000 uh, euro uh, award purse. Um, it's been carried mainly by opposition channels. Uh, TV Rain, which is a, a channel which runs on YouTube and therefore has to carry a designation that it's a foreign agent because it's funded from overseas, uh, reported it fully. Uh, Moscow whose radio station Echo of Moscow also reported it based on its report on Radio Free Europe, another uh, Western outlet that also has to declare itself a foreign agent. Um, these, uh, this foreign agent term was brought in earlier this year, uh, freighted with Stalinist weight. Um, it's a means by which the Kremlin wants to try to uh, identify Western-funded media in a way to discredit them in the eyes of Russian, Russian people. And this is something which Navalny has spoken out, of, out against um, over many years, um, and of course is one of the reasons why he has so upset the Kremlin in his time uh, as a leading opposition figure in Russia. And remind us more about what the current situation is for Navalny. He's in prison at the moment. Why is that? Uh, yes, he, he was imprisoned uh, as a result of a, a, a trial over uh, an obscure uh, charge of corruption related to uh, a wood mill charges that he denies. Um, he was poisoned, uh, viewers may remember, last year whilst campaigning in Siberia. He was poisoned with a Soviet-era uh, nerve agent, Novichok. Um, subsequently, he flew to Germany and was treated there. When he returned to Russia, he was immediately uh, imprisoned again for breach of his bail conditions, which um, seems a bit rich considering that um, uh, he'd nearly died and had to fly to Germany for treatment. Um, so he's currently in jail. He won't be able to uh, turn up in Brussels uh, mid-December to receive his prize. Um, we should also remember that just last year, uh, the Ukrainian film director Oleg Sentsov, who also spent a couple of years in a Russian prison, um, he also received the uh, Sakharov Prize. So this is obviously something which the European Union is using to highlight human rights abuses in Russia and uh, the way in which the Kremlin is trying to crack down on the opposition. Nick Holdsworth.